Welcome to the Bonneville Salt Flats. This place is amazing <laughs> and very, very bright, even with sunglasses on. I was gonna do the full review out here, but uh, it is very sloppy. I don't know if I should be taking that in such a sloppy environment. There is sometimes two to three inches of standing water on top of the salt bed. But anyway, all my drone footage, a lot of my B-roll for this video is going to be filmed out here. It really is an amazing and incredible place. If you guys are ever in Utah, come out here, check this out. It will not disappoint. Of course, I'm up in the mountains again. I've got the Aventura X. I guess I gotta tell you some stuff about it, right? Let's start with power and speed. It's got a top speed rating of up to 30 miles per hour. You can get there with the one 2,900 watt brushless DC motor in that rear wheel. And that is powered by a 72 volt, 20 amp hour battery. You'll notice there's two locations there. So you can do two batteries to double the range. But that battery is rated up to a thousand charge cycles. Has a battery level readout. But it only takes four hours for recharge. There's only one speed mode. So let's see how fast I can get it up to. Here we go. That is 31 miles an hour. Now it's time to see how quick this is off the line. This is the acceleration test. The scooter without any batteries weighs 155 pounds. And so with one battery, that would bring it up to 177 pounds. With two batteries, it's just under 200 pounds. It's got a carrying capacity of 330 pounds. So again, this is built for two riders. There's two speed modes. I'm gonna show you how quick both of those are. In order to switch between the two modes, turn the scooter off, hold and keep holding the left brake lever, turn the scooter back on. And then to go into comfort mode, it's one, two, three, four, five for sport mode do that six times talk about 87 percent battery life this is comfort mode first engage pretty pretty soft and slow first 20 30 feet now it's starting to pick up got some good steam now and there's over 25 there's 30. okay sport mode acceleration oh that is very poppy right up the line wow there's a there's a difference there that is definitely more sporty man there's 30. with one battery the x has a range rating of 35 miles with two batteries double that up to 70 miles so let's see how far i can go it's time to tell you all the stats and features about the x starting off with the look and design and accessories everything that comes with it well it does come in eight colors this is the cherry red which is pretty awesome this is bright and beautiful it comes with two mirrors that you just screw on and then you can move those like any other car mirror they adjust this one had the rear rack pre-installed most of them don't you have to order that separately and this also came with a helmet carrier that is an accessory you can pick up you can also get a front rack there's a side pocket on the right side in the back also got an optional windshield and a phone case holder in fact these guys just have a ton of accessories lots of parts if anything ever goes wrong with it you'll be taken care of. So as far as the overall look and design, I'm a big fan of it. I love that retro style. It just invites you to get on it and ride it. It's a cool looking vehicle. All right, uh, down to 75% battery life. I've gone 7.47 miles. It's nicely balanced. Just riding with one hand, super easy. Riding with no hands, I'm just coasting obviously, but going 20 miles an hour, I'm just gonna pull my arms and take a little nap here. Got a steep and windy hill. I'm gonna know how the balance and how it handles it. 40 miles an hour, let's see if I can get up to that. Taking the corner, 30 miles an hour, here we go. It feels really good, 38, 39, let's get 40. Wow, that is nice and smooth, woo! Oh, I didn't quite get 40, but I got 39. I'm loving the handling on this. It is very stable and quite fun, actually. Smooth, just like rocking a boat. It just responds very well to just the slightest movement off of center. It's fairly easy to manage and control at slower speeds. I just did a couple small loops when turning around. I'm down to 50% battery life. I've gone 14.78 miles, full throttle, 29, 30 miles per hour average speed. For having such a big, powerful motor, it doesn't have a lot of noise, but there's zero noise coming from this. It's going 15 miles per hour, I'm gonna floor it. And there's, I can't hear any motor noise, nothing. And you got those uh, road tires, and so the sound from the tire meeting the road is very minimal. The 
way this is designed, as far as geometry, it can fit a variety of riders. And the reason why I say that is because you have such a huge seat. And so, you know, if you're short, you just scoot up. Sitting at the very back, I gotta lean way over to grab the grips. So you got a lot of flexibility as far as rider size. I'm not even sitting in the middle of the seat and that's, you know, that's a good spot for me. My arms are straight out. I can easily grab the grips. There's a lot of space, a lot of room. This is designed to fit two riders. If you wanna go cruising with your woman or your man, it's definitely big enough to handle that. Okay, down to 25% battery life and almost gone, 25 miles, 24.60 miles. As far as the cockpit, handlebars are angled back. It's kind of like a V-shaped. You got a wide stance for cornering, for handling. The grips are what you expect for like a motorcycle. Fairly large, but they do feel nice. I'm loving the seats, very comfortable, feels nice. You got a, like a nice leather. I don't know exactly what that material is, but very nice feeling. I could ride this for hours and hours and be just fine. And then as far as the deck goes, there's gotta be about two feet of space, so you got a lot of room there. It'd be kind of cool to have some sort of like foot pegs out by the front wheel. You can kind of kick back and relax a little bit more, but you know, you can always dream. Uh, this does have full suspension, spring in the front and rear. There's a good two or three inches of play, so it can handle some bumps and cracks. As far as like the smaller vibrations that you sometimes get with like stand-up scooters, there's none of that. This is the chip sail road. I can see everything nice and smooth. No vibrating there, and that is that is a big deal when it comes to scooters. You got some pretty wide tires on this, 3.5 inches wide, 10 inches round. They're road grade tires, they're air filled. Just weaving in and out like so, you know, they got some pretty good grip. There's some small gravel on this road and haven't had any sort of slippage. And then again, being 3.5 inches wide, uh, that does help with the balance. And when you turn, it does help to pull the scooter back up, right? That wraps up the range test. My app recorded 30.84 miles with 1,964 feet of elevation gain. So the range rating is 35 miles. You could easily hit that if you stayed on flat terrains. I'm pretty impressed that I almost got 2,000 feet elevation gain and still got 30 over 30 miles. That is awesome. And then again, if you want to double that range, just add another battery. So that's what it can do. 30 plus miles, 2,000 feet elevation gain. Pretty awesome. It's fantastic. The X has 65 newton meters of torque and a hill climbing ability of up to 25% grade. All right, let's see how well this can climb. Battery showing 92%. I am in sport mode and no momentum. It's climbing. As soon as I turned around, made that switch, it was climbing. 16, 15. Oh, this has got some good power. Wow, 14, 13, almost over the top. 15 coming up over the top. 16. And there we go. You got plenty of power. I'm a 185 pound rider. That made light work of that hill. Now it's time to test out those massive dual hydraulic brakes coming down the same hill. 15% grade hill. Here we go. Let's see how well the brakes work. First off, left side controls the rear, right side controls the front. And you got a big old monster lever on those. Got a ball in the end, but I can easily fit four fingers on there. So some light braking, no pulsating, no noise. Sounds pretty good. Do some uh, hard braking here. Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I could have scored those even harder, but uh, yeah, you stop in a quick hurry. That was uh, very abrupt. Uh, that has got some very smooth, very controlled braking. Really like the brakes. Let me talk about the LCD screen, all the stuff on the in the cockpit on the handlebars. Keys down here, you got two of them. Once you turn them, it does illuminate the LCD screen, turns the scooter on. You know, sunny day, it's not as bright as I like. It's a sunny day, I can still see it just fine, but I would like it to be a little bit brighter. On the right side, there's a kill switch, so the screen still stays on. If you hit that switch, it kills the throttle. Button down here to reset the trip, hold it, and it resets the trip odometer. On the right side, there's your lights, so they're off, on, there's a blue light indicator. Turn signals, left and right. Nice big turn signal, also a nice looking and bright tail light and when you do hit the brake levers that does illuminate it does light up just like a car brake so you got daytime running lights and then the headlight this is the headlights and then if i switch that to daytime running lights kind of hard to see but it's just a little bit dimmer that is a nice looking headlight i have ridden this at night and it does a nice job of illuminating the road and then a horn the x has an ipx7 waterproof rating and a one-year warranty Overall, my favorite feature with the X was how quiet that motor is and just the, the stable and smooth ride it offers too. That was a, I had a really good time heading up that mountain. It's also a new riding experience. That's the first I've ever reviewed that type of vehicle. If you wanna pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sort of by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. All right, I met some hog friends here. Where are you guys all from? France. France? France? Yeah. Oh, that's just like a couple miles away, huh? Oh, yeah. Really. <laughs> Welcome to the salt flats. Yeah.